Camp and Ice Screen in Sell a Vehicle is where you're going to create the structure of your loan. Most of the fields here have been pre-filled or auto-populated with information from your company setups in the System Utilities Activity Center or with information used when stocking the vehicle into inventory. Any of those pre-filled fields can be edited or updated with information if it's necessary to change that. So the first row or column that you'll see is the sales info. The type of sale can be changed from what your default is set at by using the drop arrow. The sales date will default to today but can be backdated if necessary for whatever reason. And then the sales price will auto populate if you added an asking price one in the inventory section. That will carry over here to the sales price. Again, it can be altered if necessary. You'll see here that the Trade 1 and the Trade 2 tabs are grayed out at this point, but if you enter a trade amount or an amount you're willing to give the customer for a vehicle they're going to turn in, then you can enter that and the system will then make the Trade 1 window an editable option for you. If they have a balance uh, remaining for their trade-in, then you can enter that balance and the lender's information so that you can pay that off and get the title. And if they have multiple trades, you can enter the second trade-in amount in the appropriate field. Under that, if you provide warranties, you can select a warranty provider and the plan that you and the customer agree on by using the lookup button. Your total fees are the fees that you created in your system uh, defaults. They include things like the clerical fees, title fees, uh, license registration fees, things like that. And you can see a breakdown of those by using the lookup button. And then your sales tax will be populated here. If you have several sales package or sales tax packages, then you can use the lookup button and change the package that to one you need. So if you have multiple states that you do business in and they have different tax rates, you can select the correct one. Or if you have county city taxes and you need to add or select a different tax package, use the lookup button and then select the tax package that you need to use. If you are a Texas dealer, your VIT tax will populate here and you can use the lookup to see information about that. Then you'll see your gross sale amount. Next, you'll get the down payment, which will pre-fill if you entered a required down payment while stocking the vehicle into inventory. If you authorize pickup payments or deferred down payments, then you can enter the amount of the pickup and use the lookup button to create a sales date or a pickup date and the amount. Put a little description here and then your customer can pay off that down payment or make payments on it. The only rule is that the pickup has to be completely paid off before the second payment of the loan installment is due. And then you have your total loan amount here at the bottom of the sales info column. That's gonna be your principal amount being financed. On the right side of the screen, you'll see your interest rate type and then your amortization method. If you need to change a calc method or use a calc method, then you can do that by using the lookup button and selecting the calc method necessary. Your interest rate is the default rate that you set up in company setups, but it can be changed, as can the terms of the loan. So if the payment frequency or the um, payment calculation type don't work, then you can change those using the drop arrows. You could also change the number of payments the days to the first payment if you need to. The system is going to calculate the loan amount or the payment amount for every payment here in the blue box. And then the loan details will be summarized at the bottom of your screen. If you're a Florida dealer, your dock stamps will be added into the summarization of the sale. And if you offer ancillary products like accident, death, um, credit life or gap insurance, you can select those products 
by clicking the insurance button, selecting what the customer wants to add to their loan, and you can save that and the totals will be added into the loan summary at the bottom of the screen. If you need to adjust the payment amount to just make it a round payment, like $211 rather than $210.77, you can use the rollbacks button and work with other prices or other payment amounts in your deal structure to then get this one down to $211. So if I changed this amount to $211 and said I wanted to change the trade-in amount, then it would offset this by increasing the trade-in amount and making this a round number. So you can uh, use those if you needed to decrease this to make it 210, then it would increase whatever amount you select uh, to change or alter. And then the balloon button, balloons, um, it defines it here as a residual value of the vehicle at the time the balloon comes due, which is at the end of the loan, typically, um, and it's not typically used in a standard buy here, pay here deal, but if you needed to create a balloon payment amount, that can be done here. Once you have all the information saved for your deal, are entered for your deal you can save as a pending sale if you need to walk away at this point or the customer needs to make a final decision or you can continue through the tab system at the top of the screen and then save as a final sale 